Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Savari and I'm here today with Birch Press. So I started off my day like I always do, nice cup of coffee and a YouTube video. And today I watched Jennifer McGuire's see-through card tutorial. After I saw that tutorial, I could not make it to my craft room fast enough. I knew exactly which dyes I was excited to try this with and I, I'm going to link to her video down below and that way you can watch how to make it from her directly. But what I wanted to do was give a little supplement for using the interlocking frame and the string art circle from Birch Press. It's a little different and I needed to start off with a full acetate base. So there's gray cardstock here, but it's actually sandwiching acetate. And the reason I did this is because there is not enough room on the die to gracefully attach to a tab. So I needed to just attach it full on to that front. So here's how I did that. We've got the, the acetate sheet that the die will be attached to. We've got the gray on the back and the interior sandwiching that acetate. Now this die is a very, oh, it's a very unique die. I just love this uh, design. The interior portions are not attached to each other. They're attached at the top and they're attached at the bottom. They're not fragile, but if you take it out of the die quickly, you're going to have it act like little springs because it'll just be sticking out in every direction. So I just was very slow to remove it and then I'm using a heavyweight cardstock, in this case holograph. And I'm so glad that I used the holograph because the little negative spaces make wonderful embellishments. In fact, I even saved the rest of them in with my gems so that I can use them for other non-related cards. Now the border is also a wonderful idea for another card for another project, so I wanted to show that. So many fun things and it was so early and what a great way to start my day. So anyway, I went in with the 1 8 inch score tape and removed only the top adhesive backing. I wanted to get the top secured before I did anything else. Now this is where uh, Jennifer has you attach it to a tab and this is the main difference in the base here. That little um, area up top is just not not big enough to attach to anything and I didn't want anything to be showing underneath. So that's why I've done it this way. Also, this is an intricate enough die that I didn't want to just put adhesive directly onto the die. I wanted to glue each row down individually. So I went in with a stylus and just from the top down to the bottom on each side of the row, I hit all the major points along top to bottom. Once the top to bottom was glued on the points, I then uh, went ahead and glued down that row and just making sure that it was nice and straight as I glued it. And that worked really well with this acetate. With the acetate, I didn't want a lot of glue showing. Now for the inside, I'm gluing back to back, so I needed to glue the opposite side as, as the front. I cut off the tops completely so that it would just be a nice clean edge up top and that also en enabled me to bend back the rows just enough to glue them and that was way easier. Now the string art circle is a beautiful uh, die that has a lot of intricate pieces. Now um, I used a very heavy weight black cardstock here and because it was so heavy weight the pieces stuck together not to where it was hard to get them out or anything, but it just held them together uh, enough to where it made a really cool background for my top piece that I was going to lay on top there. And that's how I did that. And the rest can be followed just how Jennifer did hers, but these were some little tips I wanted to share. And I wanted to show that holographic paper. This is such a stunning card. I think it's probably one of the my favorite cards I've ever made. I absolutely love this. Um, great design. Absolutely beautiful. So check out the Birch Press Design blog for more info. Jennifer McGuire's video linked down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for stopping by.